Hello there. I'm with this amazing bundle of talent this morning. Uh, but she's a very blissome, pretty, petite young bundle. You all know Tanvisha, Grammy Award winner, interior and jewelry designer, multilinguist, and also an avid biker. So I'm going to start by asking you. Did you bike all the way from Kotulpuram to Panayur? No, I did not today huh. because I have to look all prim and proper. <laughs> but how much do you do biking in a week? Well, I mean, um, about about twenty thirty kilometers a day, I think. Um, like four a or day. Five, a day, and then four or five times a week. So every morning, almost yes. But is this alone or with your group? No, it's either um, with a friend or mm. I go alone. So you come down ECR? Not ECR. Sometimes I come down ECR. Sometimes, because uh, it's not really safe for women mm. uh, to come alone. So I just do it around Kotapuram Boat Club. Uh, Plus you do the gym and all, all other no, kinds I don't of... Gym. So it's only biking? I don't gym. No. <laughs> so when did you start uh, biking? When did this interest in biking develop? Um, I started cycling and biking, um, I think, last year. And a couple of us, uh, my brother started it with his friend. And um, so a, cu a couple of us, we got together and we started cycling. Um, usually, I'm in the safety car at the back. But then I was like, why can't I try it? You know, why should all the boys try it all the time? It so, is pretty dangerous because okay. recently I went on a on a trip to Valpare mm -hmm. and I tried to cycle and I fell down. It's because you know your legs have to attach yes. themselves to that pedal. It's called yes. like a clip yes, or something, yes, yeah. right? Yeah. So do you plan to do this like a sport or is it just fitness? Right now it's just for fun and fitness and uh, we just want to get people now luckily or uh, um, I don't know what to say but the five of us who started it, now it's become like a huge group. It's called Chain Reaction. We have a group mm. on Facebook and all that. So, um, and then we cycle down, um, you know, ECR all the way to Mahabs once a month. And then we get, TI Cycles help, uh, helps us. So uh, we get the cycles from them and then you rent the cycles out. And, you know, we have four safety cars and ambulance and everything. So it's, it's really nice because the day before that, everyone's all charged up and, you know, we have to get this done, we have to get that done. No, but you have this. been talking to me about this, about creating awareness. Yes. So when you talk about awareness, what do you mean? Is it for fitness? Is it to protect the environment? Fitness, the, uh, there's fitness, going green, you mm. know, it's good for health. I mean, you just have to wake up. I know you have to wake up at 4 o'clock on a Sunday mm. morning, but okay. it's fun. And then you meet new people, mm. so why not? So now let's move from that to uh, your latest project. How is it to get away from the clutches of Ravan? If I was in the clutches of Ravan. <laughs> yeah. Well, she told wish, me something before we started. <laughs> no, but, um, um, yeah, Abhishek Bachchan, of course. He's Ooh. become, of course. Uh, but, um, no, it was a really um, good experience working with uh, Raman sir. And the songs we did and the way we recorded it, it was so much fun and it's, it's a brilliant learning experience. That's what I like about going into a studio and then coming out, learning something completely different. So it's, it's interesting. And for this uh, particular song, uh, Kerakari, um, Suvi Suresh was also there and uh, we were just there in the studio and, and Sir was like, um, Think like a village girl. You know, he has this way of explaining things. So he wanted that um, the whole local, that, uh, local feel. feel to it. So he's like, do something different with your voice. Do something different with your voice. So I was like, what? <laughs> now, I've been asking her. <clears throat> I told her before we started recording that she must sing from the film. But Tanvi says that she can't do it without the background music. It doesn't make sense. That song is, it's, it's such a local song that it... it Really beautiful, but without the music, it wouldn't make sense. It'll sound too... I can't persuade you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't care. I won't. <laughs> now, tell me, I've heard that uh, when you work with Raman, sir, you go into the studio and there are there's no background music, no other musical accompaniment, and you just sing. Is that how it's done? Um, sometimes. Uh, so, how do you have a reference? No, I mean, no, isn't it easier when you have... But like he's there to explain, you know, the conductor or the director is always there to explain, um, you know, the pitch, the tune, everything. And uh, sometimes with um, with him, it's like 
there are times when there are, there's just a click track happening, when he's creating it from scratch. Otherwise, we have a little bit of music in the background somewhere. And then, but you never know what the song is going to sound like, you know, in the end. In the end, of course, it's like, oh my God, yeah. did I do something that, like that? You know? So do you get time to practice? Are you given the lyrics and the, the tune and then you take it home and practice? No, we don't it? take it home and practice. We have to finish it right in, then So and for there. one song... Um, how, how many sessions does it take to finish recording a song? It's always one session and maybe the session might go on from like two hours to 14 hours. It depends. What is easier, to sing with uh, other instruments with you or to just sing pure and unaccompanied? <laughs> I think both have their pros and cons. Sometimes it's uh, with, uh, with accompaniment, it's, I think it's that live feel yeah. and you have to deliver. Uh, so it's not I, like how we see in those movies, mm, no? Where they used be, to have the... Yeah, uh, you'll be in this glass yeah. room and then uh, there's somebody conducting you and there's all the... At times, yes, that does happen when you're doing a background score, but otherwise, uh, now they have takes and cuts and stuff like that. In the beginning, I think there, there was just one take and one shot and you cannot afford to make any mistake. But, um, but yeah, I think it's the thrill now of this whole thing, you know, mm. so... Um, I love working in the studio and I love not being on camera but <laughs> yeah and she's doing a good job isn't she <laughs> so do you, did you get to interact with Mani Ratham sir how much does he sort of give inputs when these recordings are happening does he come listen he's sometimes yes he is there um, I, he's very quiet and um, I, I, I just go do my work and get out. I'm too scared to go and, you know, to chat with them or anything like that. But uh, he's very sweet. He's very sweet. When he wants to give you an input, he will definitely, you know, uh, say something like, oh, no, no, do this or do that. Or yeah, so it's pretty it, free. You've been with Ramansa for quite some time now, right? So tell us how that first meeting happened. First meeting? Um, it was at his studio and um, of course like I never thought I was going to you know end up at the, the A.R. Rahman studio. So I just went there and um, he just walked in you know swooshed in. Yeah yeah hi. So he'd heard hi. you earlier. Well yeah yeah that's it, yeah. <laughs> 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 where? Where did he hear you? No, someone, too? someone went and gave him like uh, a, your tape, your CD. Some weird karaoke CD that you know when when you're with friends you sing these stupid songs and then you know that CD. Someone went and gave him that. I still, you know, God bless that person, whoever that person is, and went and gave the CD. But um, I think uh, we went there and um, he was just like I was just. Completely shocked, and you know, and he's like, yeah, yeah, come on. struck, speechless, yeah. not a single note nothing, emerged. Nothing, nothing. So um, we were in, in front of the mic, and there's no voice coming out. And I was just like, yeah, la, 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 la. What was the song you sang? No, he was just like, you know, just Anything. a mic. It's just a mic test, so you can do sing whatever. So, <clears throat> so I went, <clears throat> la, la, la. He's like, what? You haven't eaten food? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ate. <laughs> But there's a mic in front of me, you know. He's like, yeah, yeah, calm down. He, so he makes you feel at home, very comfortable. And, um, and then you just have to sing. And once you get into the uh, mood. Mood, yeah. So let's hear happening. something. Let's hear from, you refuse to sing from Ravan. So let's hear from Delhi 6 because that's one of my favorites. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the, I really clearly love that song because the way we recorded it was also super fun. Ye dil hai mere yaar, bas ishq mohabbat pyaar. Ye dil hai mere yaar, bas ishq mohabbat pyaar. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And then, and then there's the whole rap thing happening. Um, Let's hear a bit of that. Rap. Okay, that, this is this, this is Vivian's part, but. Um, Imagine a clado pays as kitty sub mesh, baza patio penetrado said atmosphere, tell unisphere qui dans spear, swap tu regas qui dans spear. All a mana winos a deli, deli, all a mana winos a deli, six. 
Musti hai mastana ki Delhi, Delhi, kali hai divana ki Delhi six. Lovely. Stay tuned because you're going to hear her sing in about 25 different languages when Not we come back. Not 25, but I will try. <laughs> After the break.